Hi guys, so today we're gonna do another car review. So we have a 2012 Mitsubishi Lancer GTA. So this is the top variant Lancer back in from 2008 to 2014 here in the Philippines. So we're gonna take a look at the exterior, then the interior of course, the engine, then we're gonna do a test drive after. As you can see, look at how big the grill is for this uh, seventh generation Lancer. So it's really nice actually. I mean, up to today, 2020, after eight years, it still looks fresh. I mean, I like the design of the car. Kind of has that mean face. You know, th these are nice um, headlights here. So you got by xenon projector headlamps. The nice thing with this, when you turn right, the headlights will follow to the right. Turn left the same way. And you got your halogen fog lights here. At the time, this wasn't really common as a stock uh, rim. So these are 18 inch um, Yokohama tires. So these are 215, 45, or 18. So they're stock rims. This car is not keyless entry. So this is the key for the GTA. So you got your, it's very simple. You got your lock and unlock and that's about it. So this is the stock key for it. So it's not keyless entry. But see, after eight years, it's still solid. It's a well-built car. And you got your antenna at the back. So this, this is finished in a nice uh, rally blue. I think they call it rally blue for Mitsubishi. So, you know, the Lancer has a good rally heritage, just like the Subaru and the Ford Focus. So this is one of the, you know, cars back then that they used for rally racing. And you got the nice rear tail lamps. So it's clear with your rear tail lamps, signal lights, your amber and your reverse light here. So ito, for a top variant, para siyang backup sensors, but that's fine. You got your third brake rear light here that is integrated in the trunk. You got a nice uh, rear spoiler. So this is stock. I used to buy this G uh, GTA back in 2012. It's a stock um, spoiler here. And you got your GTA. So GT automatic. There's also a GT without the A. So it's a manual. You also can get this in manual back then. Let's take a look at the interior. Then we're going to do a test drive after. We're in the interior of the 2012 Lancer GTA. So I really like the interior of the Lancer. I mean, it feels roomy for its segment. And it's very simple, you know, laid out. So you got your dials here. So you got your menu here. Digital fuel gauge. And you got your info button here. So when you press it, imagine guys, for an eight year old car, 9,300 kilometers only. So it's rarely used. So yeah, that's the next um, service. So 2,900 kilometers pa. Then you got your engine temp right in the middle. So then that's your range till empty. So you have 160 kilometers. So I guess the full tack of this is maybe around 350 kilometers. And you got your average um, kilometer per liter. So at bad traffic, I guess it takes 5.1 kilometers per liter. There you go. And here you have your um, volume controls here increase so the nice thing with this it has a rockford fosgate stereo so i counted it i think it's seven speakers altogether, including the subwoofer at the back and you got your simple knob volume tune and all your your cd here fm am your track here and your channels here and you got a small uh, digital menu display here then you got your hazard here so this one it's nice. I mean, it's fake. I know, but it kind of resembles a like a carbon fiber um, material, though it's not. It's just plastic that's uh, laminated, so it's nice and shiny. And you got your knob type, single control aircon here. You got your fan speed, your modes, and your temperature. So this is a CVT, so it's a continuous variable transmission, not a torque converter, and not a DCT. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I don't know why they they put this on a two liter car i would have preferred a torque converter a dual clutch but i guess they're trying to make it as efficient as possible and maybe to also cut costs because cvts are cheaper than torque converter and dual clutch transmissions so you got your park reverse neutral drive in your manual mode i like the paddle shifters because they're nice and long so you got your minus and your plus here so it's nice and big so this car has six um, airbags for the top of the line GTA and GT. 
and you got your adjustment for your um, headlight leveling controls so up to four then you got your traction control and you got your side mirrors here it's a good size not too small not too big then automatic for the driver and rear lock uh, passenger windows so eight-year-old car it's still in nice condition the owner you know took care of this car really your lights here then your visor here no um, no lights for this one and no lights also for the passenger just mirrors so the seats are finished in uh, fabric so top of the line didn't have leather or maybe the one after 2014 I think uh, they stopped selling this model um, I think three years ago so 2017 it's still good I mean well kept well maintained I've been driving it for uh, basically a whole day. It's nice and comfortable. So it's very, very simple, but very, you know, um, easy to use car. Not a lot of buttons, very straightforward. So basically this is the interior of the 2012 GTA Lancer. So guys, let's take a look at the second row for this uh, GTA. Let's see how big it is. So as you can see, sobrang laki siya. Actually, I can compare this to, you know, I have a Cabri, so I could compare it. It's really big for its segment. If you can compare it to the Focus, the Mazda 3, which is way tighter at the back. This one's very roomy. I'm 5'7", and I have a lot of leg space and a lot of uh, head space. The nice thing with it, it's very comfortable. Sana, there was an aircon vent, but for this segment, wala naman aircon vents normally. And it's nice. You have cup holders here. Then you got your speakers here. And it's finished in fabric, so it's not leather, but it's fine. I mean, the nice thing with this, it feels like a bigger car than it actually is. Let's take a look at the engine for this 2012 GTA. So, wala siyang hood shocks, so it has a hood stand here. You just put it here. So, this guys, this is the same engine that you get in the 7th generation Evolution without the turbo. So, this has 155 horsepower and 199 newton meters of torque made it to a CVT transmission so it's a CVT not a torque converter and also not a dual clutch um, to, I guess to save on fuel so it's a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine so you get your standard brake reservoir here your big battery here your fuse box your coolant tank here washer and your power steering fluid that's your power steering right there so the nice thing with this car is it's still hydraulic power steering so it has a good good feel you know compared to the electronic power steering that you see in most cars of today so that's one thing that i miss personally in cars is that hydraulic power steering so basically this is the engine bay of the 2012 gta so guys let's check the trunk and see how big it is so this is basically a compact sedan as you can see a lot of space so i have two umbrellas here i'm gonna stick it inside so it's nice and deep here and you got your subwoofer here so there's a lot of stuff that you could fit you could compare it to a lot of compact uh, suvs or cuvs now so it's a good size so guys let's do a test drive on this 2012 lancer gta so this is the top of the line lancer uh back in um, 2012 so this car was produced kiran I think 2008 to 2014 dito sa Philippines. So let's do a test right. First car to drive a CVT transmission. So wala siyang gears. So guys, off the bat, naka 18 inch rim siya as standard ng 2012. So this this was one of the first cars na meron 18 inch as uh, stock rims so malaki na siya back then you could you could feel a little um, firmness uh, suspension because manipis nga yung gulo compared to mga cars before like the FD had 17 yata for the top of the line and Mazda 3 had 17s and uh, Altis I think just 16s so pero maganda what you get in uh, thinner tires and wider tires you got a better grip for the road What's nice about it? I think this is the freshest GTA in the Philippines 
dahil ito niya 9,300 kilometers so this is a first owner's car and it, yun niya below 10,000 kilometers for a 8 year old car so CVT siya so there's no gears run by pulleys and uh, belts now so if I press it a little hard let's see when it shifts so tuloy tuloy pa rin siya you can hardly feel the the shifting but the nice thing with this meron kang battle shifters na malaki so if I put it to manual mode then now you have that sensation of gears yeah. so now I'm shifting second gear third gear fourth when you press brake it will go back to first gear automatically so now I'm in first gear so full stop second gear so iba talaga yung yung feeling ng CVT compared to a torque converter or a dual clutch transmission kasi nilagay ito for I guess para mas matipid siya compared to the normal automatic transmission I like, I like the you know this is one of those cars compared to the Altis and FD na Hindi siya common sa Pilipinas compared to yun yeah, the Altis, the FD Civic Then you're talking about the Mazda 3, the Ford Focus, um, MK2, MK2.5 Maybe that's why I like this car kasi it aged very well Medyo boxy siya pero maganda yung front niya Kasi this is the 7th generation so it's the last Lancer that has been sold in the Philippines Ito yung pinaka -huli. So this is the same engine as the Evo Pero Of course the Evo has a turbo diba? This one's NA Naturally aspirated So yan, after the humps I'll press it So yun, 3000, It just holds 3000 RPM Yung turi turi lang siya. Yan, Then that's the only time it shifts Pero okay naman yung response ng transmission and engine the ride is okay once uh, the car hits mga 60 kilometers. Hindi, siya, hindi naman siya matagdag. Tama lang. That's what you expect when you have 18 inch rims. The nice thing, this this car has a uh, Rockford Fosgate uh, stereo system. So maganda yung sound system niya. So it's very clear. Good bass. The subwoofers at the back at the drop. Tapos you know, straightforward aircon. Knobs lang siya. Single zone climate control. Uh, I mean I think this car has 6 airbags For the top of the line For the GTA And the nice thing with this There's also a GTE variant Na manual So that wasn't really common uh, Back then for a top of the line Normally in that segment They're always uh, Selling automatic transmissions But th this one you could choose Between a manual and an automatic No blind spot I mean big windshield, rear view mirror is pretty big even though there's a spoiler at the back na medyo mataas uh, you can still uh, see clearly though wala nga siyang backup sensors, pero you can install that naman I haven't driven a Mitsubishi car in such a long time so it's nice to drive a uh, Mitsubishi Lancer, kasi dito sa Philippines, it's already discontinued uh, if, I, if I remember, they don't sell GTs anymore since I think 2017 so here Mitsubishi they concentrate on their, their SUVs and their pickups uh, cars wala na there's no more Galants uh, yeah this is the last Lancer the only car that they have I think is the Mirage which is our subcompact car it's a small car I wish sana makabalik ulit yung that Lancer nameplate here in the Philippines for the 8th gen Lancer Loads of CVT, like I said, okay naman siya, responsive But I wish it had a torque converter Or even a dual clutch would be way better The driving experience would be way better So guys, 
this is another review of the 2012 uh, Mitsubishi Lancer GTA. So, you guys keep safe and thank you for watching.